click on solid part second part is wall sheet details of wall sheet are here it can be created by using reward protrusion command so select reward protrusion command select front reference plane we need to create only half portion of this sketch only this much portion of the sketch so here is height of the wall sheet as 75 mm so draw vertical line of 75 angle as 90 then draw horizontal line of length here is diameter 113 so draw horizontal line of length 113 divided by 2 angle as 0 then draw vertical downward line of length here is 50 mm from here to here and here is step of 3 so draw vertical line of length 75 minus 50 plus 3 so that is 28 mm angle as minus 90 then draw horizontal line of length here is diameter 90 and here is diameter 113 so take the difference between those two and divided by 2 so that is line length 113 divided by 2 minus 90 divided by 2 that is of 11.50 angle as 180 then draw vertical line of 3 mm this step of 3 so draw 3 mm length angle as 90 then draw horizontal line of length here is diameter 56 so here is diameter 90 so take the difference between these two and divided by 2 90 divided by 2 minus 56 divided by 2 equals to 17 mm angle as 180 then from this just draw vertical downward line up to this end that is of 50 mm angle as minus 90 then draw horizontal line of length here is major diameter 87.884 and here is diameter 56 take the difference between these two divided by 2 so draw horizontal line of length 87.884 divided by 2 minus 56 divided by 2 that is of 15.94 mm angle as 0 then draw vertical line of length here is dimension 42 so draw vertical line of length 42 angle as 90 then from this end just draw horizontal line of any length say this much then right click of the mouse go to this end from this end draw horizontal line of length here is diameter 125 and here is diameter 113 so take the difference between these two and divided by 2 so draw line length of 125 divided by 2 minus 113 divided by 2 equals to 6 mm angle as 0 then just draw vertical line from this end any length say this much then right click of the mouse use trim command trim this unwanted extension of the line again this unwanted extension of the line then this horizontal line now select and delete all these dimensions here is disconnect so use connect command connect it then specify this as axis of revolution so use axis of revolution click on this line click on return enter angle as 360 click in the screen finish it fit it here is chamfer of 4 so rotate and do this edge as jumper so select jumper command do this edge as jumper enter setback as 4 
press the enter button two times fit it rotate in this way here is thread g3 so take thread command click on ok click on this surface click at this edge type is g3 finish it take again jumper do this edge as jumper here jumpered value is not mentioned so assume setback as 1 press enter button two times fit it here is a round of radius 5 so use round command do this edge as round of radius 5 enter 5 mm radius press the enter button three times fit it rotate in this way fit it right click of the mouse here is cutout of width 16 and depth 14 so take cutout command take this face fit it draw the horizontal line from this center say from here any length but angle is 0 say this much then right click the mouse use offset command offset this horizontal line to the distance of 16 divided by 2 16 divided by 2 that is of 8 mm on this side again 8 mm on this side now use select tool select and delete this horizontal line use line command connect from this end to this end line length as 16 again from this end to this end then click on return enter distance as here is depth 14 so enter distance as 4 14 click in the screen finish it fit it rotate and see do named view as iso fit it go to the file save as part 2 valve seat save it